Yes. Oh! <laughs> no way! That dip, though. <laughs> In this video guys, you're going to find out how to knuckleball in 2023 and why has it become harder to do knuckleball free kicks. Let's find out. Technology is constantly advancing, even in match balls. This is the 2023 Premier League match ball. Apparently you can't get as much movement on the ball now as you used to with the old Jabulani's and the older style match balls like the Team G's. The Nike flight ball has magically changed to a Jabulani. I don't know how that's happened. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I am going to use a Nike flight ball for this video today. If you would like to see older knuckleballs with the Jabulani, click this link here and there will also be a load of tutorials for you guys to catch up on that have been on our channel for years, including secret tips. Click the link to continue watching more tutorials but we have to adapt to the new modern style match ball let's teach you guys now how to knuckle ball with new match balls for 2023 and beyond you guys have wanted an updated knuckleball tutorial for years thank you for your patience if you are new to the channel though be sure to subscribe because as soon as we hit 50,000 subscribers we will be giving away a free pair of football boots and it could be you anyway let's get into the tutorial so the first step is placing the ball. What I've realised over the years is that it doesn't actually matter particularly how the ball is placed. We have a video coming up that you guys will see very soon that will basically explain to you that the ball placement isn't important. But for today's purpose, we'll go back to the basics. Make sure that when you place the ball, you have a logo or the valve facing you in order to be able to help you hit the centre of the ball. On to step two now, and this is going to be pacing out the run up. One thing we've never really gone too much into depth with about the run up is how we go back before we approach the ball. So we're going to get into that now. In the past when I've taught professionals and even kids how to knuckle ball, I've always explained to them that for step two, when pacing out the run up, we take five to seven steps back, and then two to the left if you're right footed, two to the right if you're left footed. As much as that's true, it also depends on what position of the pitch the free kick has been taken from. So for example, where I am now, the goal is to my right side and there's nothing in front of me. So if I'm doing five to seven steps directly back now, it will look like this. So I've taken six steps back and two to the left. So as you can see guys, the goal is to my right hand side and my approach to the ball is too straight. This would actually be more ideal if the goal was to my left here and I'm shooting over the wall and going across the goal towards where the keeper would be. For the position that we're in now, I need to adapt my approach in order to be able to strike the knuckleball cleanly. Let's do that now. This is my favorite position to take a knuckleball free kick. I'm going to be aiming for the right hand side. So because of that, I'm going to start my approach diagonally. So I'm not doing it straight. I'm not going to do my steps directly straight back. I'm going to start at an angle and then do my steps back and then do my two to the left as I'm right footed. Six. So we've taken six steps. One, two. That is the perfect angle ready for the approach. Moving on now to step three, and this part is to run up how we approach the football. This part hasn't changed at all from previous tutorials, apart from one key aspect, so make sure you're listening out for that. As we approach the ball, we need to be on our toes with our knees high. I'm infamous for my gazelle run up because I look a bit odd as I approach the ball on my toes with my knees high. It's a technique for me that's always worked. A bit like Gareth Bale when he used to do his knuckleball free kicks, so maybe you could refer to that if you're still not sure on the run up. I want to shout out though our video, what is a knuckleball and how to do it, because that is now on over 100,000 views. So thank you so much for that, guys. Hopefully, we can get this tutorial on that type of view cam. So here it is the biggest change and adaptation to our knuckleball tutorial, and for the future of a knuckleball, is the power in the strike. It's really important that as we approach the ball, 
we extend our striking leg even further than normal. This is because the modern match balls are slightly heavier than match balls in the past. Step four is the contact on the football. Like I said earlier, it's really important that we're striking the center of the ball and the part of the foot we're going to use is the instep sweet spot right here. A little tip I like to give out when striking a knuckleball free kick is pretending that you're doing a side foot pass with the inside of your foot. It's really important that our weak foot is close to the ball as well. And as we extend our striking leg, we need to put all of our power and our speed in that leg when making contacts on the ball. This is really important for the new modern match balls. So we're approaching the ball in step at a 90 degree angle and we're going to strike the centre of the ball. A knuckleball in football is a shot where the ball swerves and dips with little or no rotation. In order to get that, we have to cancel the follow through. So for step five, we're going to teach you how to cancel the follow through. As we strike the ball with our instep, we're then going to bring our foot over our standing leg, which is then going to drag to the side. And we need to put all of our weight on our left shoulder and this will help cancel the follow through. So you've hit the ball, we're going over, our left leg drags behind and that will help us put the weight and keep our balance on our left shoulder. A real crucial part to execute the knuckleball. You're about to see a slow motion example of all the steps in action. One thing I want to stress or know is when we cancel the follow through, we have to do it extremely quickly. If we don't, we will result in seeing backspin on the ball, which is not what we want to see. A knuckleball can top spin. We can have dead ball dip and movement as well, obviously. But if we're getting backspin on the ball, this is a result of us not canceling the follow through quick enough. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 12.34, which means that I've spent an hour setting up the goal, that took me to 11, an hour and a half filming the talking clips, and I'm finally about to strike the free kick. But I'm only using a Nike ball, similar to Free Hills that day when I scored that sick knuckleball goal. Hopefully we can get a banner. Let's go. In. Happy days, what a start that is. That's like six shots in I reckon and I've already hit a dipping knuckleball off the bar and in. Had a bit of topspin to it which is what we're looking for. So buzzed with that. It's a bit deceiving because we've had to turn the goal so that line isn't an 18 yard line it's more like a 25 yard line. <laughs> so for my knuckleballs today I'm between 25 and 30 yards out and that's the distance I'd recommend when you take your knuckleball free kicks. Oh, that was loopy. <laughs> Come 
whilst it's in my head our secret tips 2 video is currently on 396 likes and in that video we said that when that reaches 500 likes we would do a secret tips free so go back and like that if you haven't already I've already got some tips listed in my phone to tell you guys that are very top secret unfortunately we're out of time I'm absolutely loving this ball though only my second free kick session using a Nike flight ball and it's been so sick I'm going to throw in a few extra clips from my first session using it right now for you guys to watch and see what it's like to knuckle ball. That's only two free kick sessions with a Nike flight ball. I can't wait to use it again in future videos. I'm going to do a specific knuckleball tutorial dedicated to each type of knuckleball free kick. I will teach you guys how to get movement, how to get top spin, how to get dip and dead ball all separately. But that is going to take a lot of work on my end. I should be charging money for it <laughs> because it's going to be that type of video if you really want to see it show me by liking this video only thank you for watching big thumbs up to you guys as well if you stay this far into the video i'm going to leave you one secret tip if you have that's on my list as you strike the ball when you're making contact with your foot keep your head down i know a lot of people like to look at the goal as they're approaching and have that as their focus don't make that your focus keep your head down but that's what I'm going to say because I can elaborate on that more in the next Secret Tips video. Right, knuckle it. We'll see you in two weeks.